know about anyone else. However, I used to think that once I get past high school or get past college, that my stress level would finally, I don't know, level out. <laughs> that while things would still be hard in terms of the workload, that my stress would be balanced out with a more consistent schedule. But that is not how the real world works. We still face stressors in our lives. This is why self-care is something that should be a priority. Burnout is very prevalent in US jobs and without proper care, your stress will just keep building. This is why I did the self-care day vlog. I am Bubbly. My day job is an administrative position in a university, but I dabble in content creating on the side. This video will highlight how this office worker de-stresses on a very needed day off. So let's start. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My day started off with ordering Starbucks for the first time in months. I ordered my go-to dragon drink, and I use my dragon drink to take my antidepressants, as taking your chill pills is a form of self-care you can do every day. Next stop on my me day is getting my hair touched up. My bangs and layers have grown out, and while I can cut wigs okay, cutting my own hair always ends horribly. Plus, Supporting a local business when I can is a must okay, for me. Bye. I love you. I am dropped off at the hair salon fun. by my husband. This salon is such a cute atmosphere that I really love. Just some B-roll footage of me showing off my hair before and after. As you can tell, I don't <laughs> lavender plants and it's just so lovely. Look at how cute you are. She's been spiking her hair for over 13 years. You have such beautiful body in your hair. Like That's right there. Do you put it in hot rollers? Yeah. Now I curl it a little bit. Now walking home after the salon just brings a nice bit of fresh air. Something about early spring air really helps my mood cheer up. The sunshine, the warmth, the birds singing, just lovely. And we're coming up to the reveal of my hair after an outfit change while I'm getting ready for the next activity. Ta-da! <laughs> I felt so adorable. My husband took this video of me and I just felt so cute. So we're moving now to our final location. This is a park local to my area of town. This is a park local to my area of town. Here I will spend some leisure time enjoying the air with a picnic, accompanying with some art, as well as playing my favorite video game, Animal Crossing. This picnic basket right here was bought at Target during the summer of 21, and I had yet to have a picnic with it, so I knew that my self-care day was going to have a picnic with this particular picnic basket. Now, the food was rather simple in terms of variety, but it was so delicious. I made avocado toast with everything bagel seasoning, and I had some sweet treats as well. I had some French macarons. They were store-bought, but they were really good. I had some strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate macaron. 
here's me just unwrapping everything and then I'm gonna do a b-roll showing you what I had but my favorite part is probably the fruit sandwich um, I bought some bread from the Tokyo Premium Bakery in Denver. I did also use it for the avocado toast, as you can see here. This particular bread is called Shokupan, which is a Japanese bread that is known for its light, fluffy, and slightly chewy texture. And as I said, my favorite part is the fruto sandal fruit sandwich. Um, this fruit sandwich I made for myself and I'm so excited about it. It is a matcha whipped cream with fresh cut strawberries on the inside. While it isn't as pretty as I was hoping it would be, it still was super delicious. 10 out of 10 in my book. During my picnic, I of course had to turn on a cottagecore playlist while I drew and played games outside. The playlist will be listed in the comments, so you can feel free to add it to your own Spotify playlist if you would like. Now, let's just take a step back and just enjoy some ASMR right now of me playing my video game as well as drawing. You do get to see what I drew later, but spoiler alert, it's a rather non-impressive drawing of my strawberry sandwich. I wasn't in that big of an artistic mood at this moment because while the picnic was very, very fun, I sat directly underneath a tree, so I was covered in bugs. <laughs> Sometimes it's just really fun and relaxing to just sit outside and do something that you would normally do inside, like eating or drawing or taking a nap. I haven't taken a nap outside, honestly, in my entire life. I've gone camping, but sleeping outside I don't think is the same thing as napping outside. But. I do truly think that taking a nap outside would be so relaxing. For some self-care reminders and affirmations for anyone who is watching this video, I read something online where your body is like a computer. If you keep putting off your required updates, your computer just reboots randomly because it has to reboot. Self-care is needed as humans. Do something that makes you happy that isn't harmful. Read a book, go on a walk, play a video game, get a haircut, eat a cookie for breakfast. Just treat yourself well every once in a while. I promise it will help your overall mental health even in a tiny way. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. I hope you have a beautiful summer. Take care.